y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Tara if you're new here please click the subscribe button today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a prayer board for 2023 um this is similar to like similar to a vision board like a digital vision board but it's going to be your goals um and then we're going to put scriptures on the prayer board just so that you can have something to reflect on to pray on and to help you accomplish your goals for 2023. So we're gonna get right into the video. The apps that we're gonna be using today is going to be Canva and then the Samsung Notes app. The first thing that I did to start my prayer board was I, I created a note in my Samsung Notes app. You start off with thinking about what you wanna achieve in 2023, you write them down. After you wrote down your goals, that's when you go and you decide on what Bible verses are going to go with each goal. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm not able to quote scriptures and know exactly where it's at in the Bible. So that's something I'm still working on. So basically, I did a little research for the Bible verses that I wanted to go with my um, my goal. So for home, the scripture that I chose was Psalms 37 verse 4, which is delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee thine desires of thine heart. And then the last uh, goal that I have for 2023 is tithing. I recently started tithing the full 10% and I want to keep going in 2023. So I chose uh, Luke 6 verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So once you have everything written out, once you have chosen the scriptures that you want to go on your prayer board that's when you're going to go back into canva so you're going to come into canva and you're going to create a design and then you're going to decide what size you want your design to be i'm not using a template or anything i think i'm going to choose just the instagram post square because i think that'll be big enough and then i may sh i may share it on my instagram page i'm not really sure yet like this is taking a lot, y'all, because this is so personal, but I do want to share it with you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to change the background color just because I like to make some of my images a little bit more transparent. So I'm going to choose my favorite color, which is green. So we'll go with that color. And then from here, this is the fun part. You get to choose the images that you want to go on your prayer board. So you're going to come over to Elements. And then you're going to search. So basically, it's good to have your notes right next to you so you can bounce back and forth. Okay, I say I want to buy a home or at least start saving for a home in 2023. So I'm going to find a picture of a house. So I just come over here and type in house. Oops, I'm not typing. So you can decide if you want to use like graphics. You can use those type of images, but I want something more realistic, so I use photos. And then basically you just search through it and you, you decide, you know, which image you like. Okay, this is the house that I like. I think it's so cute. So now you're just going to size it however you see fit, however you want to size it. And I actually, let me see, I think I have my recently used images right here so I can just go find everything that I want so I don't have to search. But basically you would search by the terms that you want to find. So um, for paying off credit card debt, I just typed in credit card. And then I found images of credit cards. For reading more Christian books, I just searched books and I basically I try to stick with the theme for my images I don't know what I would consider the theme but basically I tried to choose images that were that had similar color schemes so that it will look cohesive once everything is together so I don't have something that's really really bright and then something that's like super dark so that it just looks really cohesive and together and for this one, it's going to be for growing my social media media platforms as well. You see she got her phone in her hand. She got her laptop right there. And then I found this cute picture. Well, not really cute, but I found this picture of some cameras to represent, you know, like YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, was it this one? Yeah, it was. I liked this one. And 
and you could either just like get all your images out on the um on the page first or you can organize it as you go and then i want to be you know grow my relationship with god read my bible more so we have a bible here this also just re um relates to growing my relationship with god and you can get however creative you want to be like if you have certain goals that are like a higher priority if you want to make those images larger you can and then goals that are like lower priority if you want to make those images smaller you can so it's just so much you can do with it and then love begins at home this is just in reference to um, what I mentioned about my children undivided attention loving on them living in the moment so once you have everything set up like you like then that's when you're gonna go ahead and enter in the scriptures that correlate with each goal basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title each thing and then I'm going to just put the scripture so when I'm looking at my prayer board I'll see the scripture so the first one's gonna be a home and that's gonna be Psalms 37 verse 4 we're just gonna copy and paste it And then you can change the font to whatever you want it to be. So next we have financial increase, pay off debt, Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, copy and paste it, same thing. This was really fun. I've never actually done a digital uh, prayer board. I've done a digital vision board before, but this was my first time doing a digital prayer board and it was great. I had fun looking up the scriptures and it is a way to like kind of have Bible study while you're looking at the scriptures. And again, you can choose whatever format you want to save it in, whether you want to make it the wallpaper on your phone or the wallpaper on your tablet. So every time you pick up your phone or tablet, you're looking at it, you're thinking about it, you're praying on it. But I hope this video helped you. If it did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a happy new year.